What up people, this is Christopher Michael on set of Life As Film and Perspective to give you guys an insider view on an important part of my solo video segments in Life As a Film Perspective. Um, this is uh, courtesy of Running Director Productions and let's go over an overview right now. Okay, first off, lighting is going to be very important when you're working with your films. Very important. Whether it's the editing process, pre-production, post-production, you always have to keep in mind your lighting. Now, as far as the idea of why I'm showing you this and how much importance it held in my film, I'm going to give you a breakdown of the lights I used and how I used them to create the idea and tonal image of my entire project. Okay. First off, see the difference between that light and when it was off and when it's on now? Now we turn it off again to kind of give you an idea. I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six lights actually going on right now to create that. Give you a little backstory first. The reason I had all these lights going on for life as a film perspective during my solo segment scenes is because I wanted to show that this character was in a surreal setting. Almost a setting that was uh, not exactly typical for anybody to be in. Uh, almost like a white room. And to do that, I wanted overexposure. So I involved a lot of lights. Now I didn't do too many lights where you lose the features of my character, which was important and should be noted for any filmmaker, but at the same time I wanted to be lit up. Almost like illuminating, bright, and that could also involve any artsy thing. But as we break it down, maybe you'll get the idea for different um, uh, scenes that you're doing, whether or not it's in a, an office, an interrogation room where the lights are dim and characters smoking a cigarette, expelling his secrets, anything of that nature. But let's keep going on and let me show you what's going on. Eliminating my ground light, I'll explain why. Now, eliminating that ground light. First off, I never again step into the backstory. The reason I had all these lights is I wanted to create a surreal image for one. And for two, I wanted to make the illusion that uh, my character is under one light instead of multiple lights because I wanted to make it look like this character is in a white room under one big light, almost like an interrogation room to give you an idea, but also an illuminating room where this character came to be and realized who he really was. So this bottom light right here is the light that I have going to set up um, a little more light. Like I said, this is going to be building up in small steps the tonal image. So this light that I have down here is actually working for this area as well as working on this side. Okay, it's a subtle difference, I know, but let's keep going. Okay. Boom. There we go. Now, I still have four lights working right now, but at the same time, Taking away bits and pieces, we lose that overexposure I was going for. Okay, the, this is the one that I actually have right above me, in front of me, is the one that's going to bring out this right here. That's to show off my features, um, to work on facial expression, which is going to be very important for you filmmakers when working with actors in different scenes to where you want to catch that one tear, where you want to catch um, that subtle smile, that raising eyebrow. Whatever you're working with on facial expressions, this is the light that I had to use for me. Okay, but there were two lights that actually focused on my character's face as far as working with facial expressions and things like that. Considering that sometimes during these scenes, my character had to go through emotional steps. All right, I don't want to bore you. Let's keep moving forward. Boom. Now, eliminating my two lights, two forward lights, uh, top and bottom, I now am dealing with shadow. Like I said, this could be great for maybe your character sitting in an interrogation room smoking a cigarette as he explains to the cops what's going on with the investigation. Or maybe this works in um, an asylum. Let's say a character's all like, uh, you know, something like that of that nature, and he's just like out of it. This would might be able to highlight those things, maybe point out a few of the uh, features of the character's face that might be working out. For me, this actually highlights my eyebrows uh, with a predominant forehead. Anyway, let's keep going. Boop, boop. Now, before I step forward, um, I have currently three other main lights that work to my advantage. I'm going to eliminate one of them to kind of show you the difference in what that does as far as creating an idea for my background and the image that I was going for, which is to create the, uh, uh, the vision of one light instead of multiple ones. All right. Now we're getting a little bit darker. 
a little bit less where I was going for, and as far as I'm considered, nothing at all what I want. This actually kind of makes it look a little low budget. Shh, it kind of is. Just kidding, let's keep going. Now, now that I have only the few main lights above me ahead, this, my main lights by the way, which were my focus for the character as well as the background, um, if I eliminate those, what we have left is complete darkness. This is going to be the most Boring part, but keep watching, keep watching, because this is a huge lesson for lighting. Without lighting at all in your film, or any kind of project you're working on, whether it's photography, whether you're just catching a quick action sequence, um, whatever you're doing, it doesn't matter what, without lighting, you're left with complete darkness. And that does nothing for anybody. Um, especially in the movie theaters or wherever you're at, you do not want complete darkness. I mean, it may be great for a scene where you don't want anything to, you know, you don't want any secrets known about the character, but you don't want anything known at all. Hey, it's up to you guys, whatever you want to do with your films. But at the same time, let's go with the main point. Without lighting, you're under complete darkness. Um, keep that in mind, though, for any of you filmmakers out there watching this. Uh, if you're going to be doing a night scene, make sure that, it's, that you have some kind of lighting. Now, you can do tinted lighting, which might help. Um, I think maybe uh, an early morning scene right before the dawn, maybe tinting the lighting blue, maybe a little pinkish or whatever, uh, might give that image that you're looking for. Um, the coming dawn, you know, you can do different things with your lighting, but it is important because like I said, without it, darkness. Now, I'm going to return all the lights right now to kind of bring back the process one by one to show you exactly how much it really affected this. That's returning one main light. It brings a little bit here, right here, and it shows a little bit back here, but this is my foreground light, so it doesn't show me much. It doesn't illuminate the background, and if I do this, whoosh, just a face. So let me return all the lights to bring back the process and a little bit of that movie magic that I was working on. Overhead main lights. Complementing my foreground lights. Woo, top forward light that really just deals in overexposure, but not as much as showing the highlights on my face. My other foreground light, which continues to show my face and highlight everything going on there, but everything is complete now. Appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to do this. And if you guys have any comments, please remember to make sure there's a, a spot below that you type away whatever you need to do. And at the same time, remember that uh, I'm always up for suggestion. If you have a better idea on lighting and how you work with yours specifically, also leave a comment, message me. I can leave my email in the bottom as well if that works better for you guys. I don't care which way. Like I said, I'd like to learn. And I'm taking the time out of my day to show you something that I did and something that worked for me in my film, but maybe you have other things to do better. Other than that, I appreciate you guys again. Thank you so much for watching. And at the same time, this is Christopher Michael with Running Director Productions. Peace.